Hello and welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy. This is part three of our Hufflepuff playthrough. Uh, things are going well so far. We seem to be able to uh, do a few spells. We've explored Hogwarts and we're about to get our first assignment. But uh, first of all, I do want to do a little bit of exploration of, of Hogwarts. Uh, thank you for all the support on the series so far. If you're enjoying it, continue to leave a like down below. And all of that good stuff. Rebellion. Um, I'm sure there will be some sort of Revelio item in here. There you go. Nice. So partial transfiguration. This partial transfigured teacup, likely the soon-to-be reversed error of a second year, uh, serves as a cautionary tale for those students who do not take seriously the complexities and dangers of transfiguration. And I want to try one of those doors again. Um, yeah, there's no way we're going to get into there, is there? But there is a chest here with some more money in it. Any more things? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, let's move on then. So whereabouts are we? In the courtyard, that's Off on okay. Another adventure, are we? Right. There's a cat there. Don't know what this is. Ah, that's the assignment. Right, we'll go and do that in a little bit. I do want to explore. Rebellion. Castle a little bit. Seems to be something here. Can we? Lumos. Lumos. Ah, there you go. Nice. Okay. Keep going. I'll head up this way. Into the castle. And here's one of those things again. So let's see if we can work this out. So 17 is question, question. So. Twenty one as eleven plus two plus eight, for instance. So, yeah, if you look at that thing there, potentially two horns. So, we're looking maybe for spider on that top one because that would represent the number eight. Okay, there we go. And then, where was the, the other one? Uh, what's Rebellion. it over here? I think there were dots here as well. But what are you up to now? I don't know what that was about. Okay. Hey. This looks like one of the professor's office. This doesn't sound uh, seem like a good idea. Okay, mem memorandum uh, from our office. Subject Borgen and Burks. Borgen and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are added more auras to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instructions to follow. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Right, let's keep going. Rebellion. That looks like something that we can use it on, does it? No? 
Any thrills in here? No? Oh! My god. Who is this guy? Uh huh. Oh, that's it. That's the head bastard. That's black. It might be time for us to leave. Sometimes I'm not fully sure if Brian's teaching us a right. spell or having a practice himself. So, anything interesting down here? Revelio. The chest. Okay, looks like there's something else down here. That's a lock. So, yeah, nothing else we can do around here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's keep going then. Let's head back to that puzzle. So we seem to work that one half of it. I think there's one up there, isn't there? So let's try and work out the second half of it. Oh. So I need to. So it was what? Spider? Yeah. And then. So. Five at nine. Sixteen. So I'm looking for something with one. If you try Let's see. Now, what? Which of these could represent one? It could be unicorn. No. I'm not going to lose any more sleep over my poop. Yeah, I think it must be unicorn. Let's go and try it. Damn it. So eleven add two, add eight. Five, so we're looking for twelve. Oh, hang on, three. Surely three. Yeah, did I just mess up? Five and nine is fourteen, not sixteen. I'm a maths teacher. I should have known that. <laughs> so submit with three. Surely that. Let's see. Hey, there you go. Nice. Right, we're in then. So we've got that, medium decorated tables, and a mauve lock scarf. Cool. I'm glad we worked out how to do them now. That will <laughs> very much help. Right down the line, right. Oops, what's this? Ooh, library. Okay. There's bound to be plenty of things in here, isn't there? There's a chest back there. Don't know how we get into it though. So sneaky way around the back here. Not sure. What's this? That's a You can't imagine thing? how inconvenient travel was before I Yeah, that's going to be for the restricted Rebellion. section, isn't it? Yeah, we don't want to mess with that just yet. What's this? Hey, chest. A little bit more money. Move that. Right, let's uh, let's head to Ronan now. Muggles can't do that. Let's see what ah, he's got for you us. Are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. 
It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Okay. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Here we go, then. Oh! There's a... Revelio. Revelio. Nice. So, a wyvern fountain. This fountain is in the Transfiguration Courtyard, has a likeness of a wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather, despite rumours to the contrary, possibly started by... don't know what's going on with that. I'll be back when it stops. Okay. So, despite rumours to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadogan, this is most assuredly not meant to be the Wyvern of Y, slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Okay. Right. So, collect the flying page in the defense. So, near the broken statue. So, this is surely... This is the right area. ...going to be where we need to be. the flying pages. Revelio. Where's the flying page? Whoops. Nope, not there. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we need to head up that way. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Revelio. A hundred and forty two staircases, and this is where they put me. <laughs> Let's see if we can spot it. Aha! Here we go. Nice. I trust the preliminary tasks. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Okay. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Ooh. Different buttons. There we go. Nice. Reparo. Mending charm repair or can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. Obviously, we've That's seen. It. Very good. If you would like to practice it. mending something, have a go with that broken statue in yes. the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Repair. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, level three already, which is great. Nice. Okay, perfect. Right, let's see what we can do now. So, <clears throat> that is welcome to Hogsmeade. So we can meet Natty near the entrance to Hogwarts. And then we'll go on a little adventure, I assume. 
There's the world map. I mean, look how massive this place is. My goodness. So we can be going all the way down to there. Obviously, there's Hogwarts. And that is Hogsmeade. So that's where we'll be travelling. Upper Hogsmeade. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Right, should we talk to him? Can we talk to him? No. Right, let's uh, head to... Natty, was it? Was it Natty? What's this? Ugh. What am I missing? Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Okay, so... She said do come and find Lumos, me if you stumble so... on something illuminating Lumos. that solves the mystery. That spot must be a clue. Let's see. I should look around in case it's nearby. Well, that's pointing down there. Hang on. There we go. Nice. So, thought I seen another one over here, but I might not. No. Right. So look. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Uh, Revelio. There's so many spells, this is hilarious. Statue of Gregory the Smarmy. The statue with an uh, ingratiating uh, grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy. The wizard famous for inventing Gregory's un unctuous unction, <laughs> a potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Okay. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. A moth. Lumos. Right. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. So let's see. If we can put them back here. <laughs> there you go. I knew there was a connection. I should tell them hey. that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Brilliant. Right. Where's Lenora then? Oh, she's only up there. Right, let's move back. Oh. Oh. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Okay, cool. Coming right, north. where is that? I should have seen that. Yeah, she's so happy. Where did that page... Aha! Is that going to be 8? Oh no. Well, it might be 8 out of 8. No, 3 out of 15. So we need to keep an eye out for those flying pages. Right, now where am I going? Uh, Alright, what on earth? There's lots of... Um,
Yeah, there's lots of stuff here, isn't there? Right. Protego. Oops. I am still getting used to all of the buttons on this game. There's quite a lot of functions, isn't there? All right, where are we headed? This way, apparently. I haven't slept well for ages. Rebellion. Oh. Hey. Ooh. Silver spectacles. Look oh, oh, I thought we'd be locked in there. I had flashbacks to episode one. <laughs> yeah, right, let's keep heading towards Hogs Mead then. Revelio. This statue looks like it should be a Revelio. It's not though. Right. Our door was atrocious. I want to play Quidditch. I'd make a marvelous chaser. I've always said oh, that you travel broadens the mind. You know it's Rebellion. I wish they'd let her teach the curriculum. The only I can wait for. Right. I don't mind saying that. Oops. Rebellion. Hey, there you go. Broken Broom. This Broken Broom belonged to Celine Wartonby. Wartonby. And is rumoured to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar aberration charm to fellow third years. No one knew if she succeeded. Or well, no one knows. Okay, nice. Right, let's uh, see if we can collect some of our rewards. I don't want to leave them untouched. So we've done 4% of quests, apparently. Surely not. That would be a fairly short game, wouldn't it? Maybe not, to be fair. We've already done a couple of hours, haven't we? Right, claim rewards. Rewards. Don't need to do that. Uh, okay, gear. So yeah, we can put on some spectacles. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Neckwear. That's the other thing. No. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We don't want anything on. It's cool. Nothing else there. Inventory. Okay, Ministry Memorandum. Alright, and then Collections. And some outfits. Okay. Conjurations. Nice. I think I'll probably do this sort of thing outside of episodes usually, but I just want to show you what it all is about. Uh-huh. Okay. Cool. Right. Let's get going then. Hello. Looking for me? Oh. Revelio. Flattened armor. This set of armor belonged to Sus. Gagglethorpe and the heed headless, heedless who unwisely uh, challenged the, a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. Oh dear. Right. Okay, let's talk to Nat Natty then. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? 
I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Oh, you do now, do you? I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a Butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. I think uh, we're going to get on very, very nicely oh, with... I cannot tell you how nice it is to Nazi. breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient... Rebellious. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. I just want to look at her. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's a Quidditch stadium, isn't it? Oh, this is awesome. This is just incredible. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's a few times of year. I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken a few years. I did not grow up around snow. I just want to see. Can I go up there? Oh my goodness! Can't just oh. Hang on, hang on. Oh, you abandoned <laughs> Nanny. Yes, we don't want to do that. Right, let's keep going. So. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lace wing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Okay. Let's collect some of that then. Revelio. Nice. Let's keep going. Look, from the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Okay, there's the viaduct over there. I think there's 16. Was there 16 Absolutely. archers? Well, that was a question on limitless win. <laughs> That's a forbidden point. forest on the left. It's off limits to students. As the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, this is oh, look at the scale of that. And the crazy thing is, you know, so much under that as well. But you can go anywhere. If I wanted to, I can run all the way down there and probably get into that house over there. I mean, this is just... I mean, unbelievable. I wonder if you can go all the way over there. Surely you can. Wow. Wow. It's just stunning, isn't it? All right, come on, let's go. <clears throat> Horse and carriage there. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. 
What on earth is that up there? <laughs> In a funny way, this game reminds me a little bit of Death Stranding. I don't know if you guys have played that, but just the the scale of it. It's ridiculous. How are you in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. So that takes us to the lake. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. And what can I do with these? Okay, Moonstone. Nice. Okay, this is a nice little spot, isn't it? Oh, there's a cat there. Study for the astronomy exam in the library. Might be better off outdoors where we can see the stars. That reminds me. Did Scribner say we could borrow the book overnight? Or that we'd get detention if we had it out overnight? Wow. I'm just marvelling at this game, <laughs> as you can tell. There's the greenhouse there. It just makes you want to explore every little nook and cranny. What does it matter whether we even do our own? Right, let's keep going then. We're still... Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, an Aryan. Sorry about that. Castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. That doesn't sound good. Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumours being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Okay, here we go. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweets you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Right. Okay. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spell crafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Okay. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guide map. Okay. So we got a barber's. Wizard Way. There's Ollivander's. Tomes and Scrolls. And Pippin's Portions. Okay.
All right, let's. Uh, well, should we go straight into Ollivanders and get our get our watch? Uh, watch wand. As I say, does this start? I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... Uh, about time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Okay, so ah, so we get to. What do we get to do with it? So, so it's dark grey at the moment. So one style. Quite like the How idea intriguing. of a grey one, dark brown, honey brown. Classic grey. Quite like this one. To be honest. Wood type. Oh my goodness me. Um Curious indeed. Yeah, i I mean of course let's go. I mean, you can go for anything you want, can't you? How intriguing. Right, we're gonna go for oh elder, yeah, let's go elder. Right, twelve and three quarter inches. Curious indeed. Right, bit of a longer one, thirteen inches. Flexibility switching. Yeah. Whippy. Oh. Wand core options. So, dragon heart string that serves as the core of a wand known for producing powerful magic, consistent magic, a great range of magic. Let's just go for the unicorn here, the middle one. And there it is. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. 
Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Brilliant. Okay. Let us leave. That was awesome. That was truly awesome. Right. Uh, okay. Where's... Let's, uh, let's see where we can go to next. So, yeah, we've been to Ollivander's. Yeah, let's go to the, the potions next. So off to the left. Zonkos. Musical balloons. Wow. This is cool. Nice. Right. Hey, you can buy a Hog Hogwarts Express to take home with you. Right, up, up a high street. Over here. Okay, that's a locked door. So is that. There you go, Pippin's Potions. What's that? Hey, nice. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though... I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my f time in Hogwarts, actually. At your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Okay, cool. What can I do for you today? Right, so, seems like we're getting these. Feel okay. free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Okay. <clears throat> Combat tools. Okay. Okay, cool. Right.
Revelio. Uh, hey, there you go. JJ J. Pippin's Potions, established in 1753, is the whatever in Hogsmeade where proprietor Parry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Okay, let's head out. Um, okay, next place we need to go. So, uh, it was over here, wasn't it? That's Brood and Peck. Wizard where? Is it that? Tomes and Scrolls. So. Probably head down there now. Yeah, I think it was down here, wasn't it? Yeah, this one here. Yeah. An inquiring mind. Revelio. Yep, there you go. Nice enchanted staircase. Reveals itself when a particular book is moved. Thomas Brown sells a variety of written products. Okay. Ah! There you go. Should we explore? Or are we gonna to get told off for that? Rebellion. Hang on. Akio. Nice. I don't think we're doing too badly, you know. Rebellion. Right, let's go and talk to him. Can we walk behind here? That feels a bit weird, doesn't it? What on earth is this? Lumos. No. Revenge. No. Okay. Right. Let's go and talk to him. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look okay. at what we have, shall we? Okay, so you can see the sort of things that he, he sells. Alright. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Okay. Nice. Right, let's head back 
this way, and we'll head towards the magic neep. Where's the magic neep? Is that... Oh, for goodness sake. I keep going back on myself. I think it was this way, wasn't it? This way. Well, there's Pippins, so it must be further down that way. Yeah. Is it that? There you go. The magic neep. Well, hello there. Rebellion. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts as a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Okay. Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest. So you can wager. see what they get. It's okay, cool. Nice. Oh, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. All right. Well, I think uh, we might leave it at that for this episode because I am a little bit uh, concerned that something's about to hit the fan. Oh, there's another one up there. Nice. Is there any more that we can see flying about while we're in the groove? Oh, I think I've seen one up there. Or is it just... Might have just been a bird. Anything? I don't think so. But I think that is where we are going to leave it for a day. Can we see Hogwarts in the background? There you go. Let's go and get Hogwarts in the background, shall we? There we go. Hey. <laughs> oh, what a view. What a view. But that is where we're going to leave it for today. If you have enjoyed it, Give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more Hogwarts content. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.